this workout will help you to tone your whole abs. So if you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. Sit along the mat, knees bent, open your legs a bit apart. Now pull the belly button in and lengthen the spine, relax your shoulders. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Now inhale. And exhale, round your spine each vertebra at a time, shoulders relaxed. And then lengthen the spine, open your chest. Now round your spine again. And open. And a couple more times here. Yeah. So make sure you use your breath to go with the movement. So inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round each vertebra at a time. And come back. And round. And last one and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Now you wanted to pull the belly button all the way towards the back. You can kind of feel your ribcage pop up here so that you can inhale and exhale to hide the ribcage in, create a flat surface on the tummy. Lengthen the spine, extend the ankle. Now hands behind your hips and close your elbows, bend backward, lean backward. So inhale, lift both legs up at the same time, exhale, bring it down. You can do it each leg at a time if you want to make it a little bit easier. So listen to your lower back. We're going to try to do 10 times together. Keep breathing. Inhale up and exhale down. Extend the ankles. Don't drop your legs. Bring it down with control and slowly. And three. Two, that feels amazing. Last one, and slowly bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now for the next movement, I wanted to lie all the way down on your back. So lift your legs up at 90 degrees and use your arms along your body. Press your whole shoulder blades down. Inhale, bring both legs further away and come back. So only bring it to the point that you feel good with the lower back. Keep your back in neutral. Hip bones down to the mat. Pull the belly button all the way in. And a couple more times, inhale. And exhale. Focus on the breathing. So you can even close your eyes if it gives you more focus. And that way you also feel your lower abs are working like crazy. So inhale and exhale. Bring it back slowly with control and slowly flex the ankle. Lengthen one leg and switch 10 times. Lower your leg if you want more challenging. Awesome. Extend the ankle and now I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen both legs all the way up. Inhale, bring both legs further away and exhale, open your legs, drawing half circle on both sides. So 10 times with your own breath. Do it slowly and don't have to bring your legs further so far away, so low, because again, you want to feel good on your lower back. So only to the point that you feel that you still can keep your lower back in neutral position. That's awesome. Inhale and exhale. And a couple more times with your own breath. And two. Last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Awesome. Now lift your head up, shoulders all the way up, and hug on knees to the chest. Extend the ankle and switch to the opposite side, single leg stretch. So inhale and exhale. Try to lift your shoulders higher and feel free to use your hand to support your head anytime if it's easier for the neck. So listen to your body. Pull the belly button in, try to lengthen all the way. 
when you're still stabilizing your hips, that's the most important thing. So pull the belly button in, chest up, feel your lower abs, feel your six pack abs are working at the same time. Awesome. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your head down to the mat. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now bend your knees, keep your feet to the center, arms along your body and lengthen one leg. Lift your hips up and bring your hips down 10 times with your own breath. Good. And last one, lift and down and switch to the opposite side. Up, down, nine, eight. Keep breathing. Shoulder blades down. And last one. And now slowly bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I want to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. Open your arms wider. So press your whole arms down to the mat. Inhale and bring both legs to one side. Exhale, come back to the other side and slowly bring those back with control. Do it slowly, start where you feel it on your other legs. Keep breathing. You can move your knees a little bit further away if you want to feel more of the lower abs as well. So listen to your body and come back and couple more times with your own breath. And last one, to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Knees down, feet down, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, now for the next movement, I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen both legs all the way up again. Flex the ankle, arms along your body. Now inhale and bring one leg down and switch. Like we step in the air. So keep breathing and a couple more times with your own breath. Do it with control and you can soften your knees anytime if it's easier for you to move the hips. So make sure all the movements start from your hips, not your knees. All right, keep breathing. I feel like my lower abs are burning. It feels amazing. Good. And five. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees, bring your feet down, take a deep inhalation again. Shake your hips gently and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your head up. Use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider. Inhale and lift both legs up. Now slowly try to reach your torso up and down. And again, if you're a beginner, put your whole feet down. Reach and come back. Nine. Eight. Do it with your breath. Exhale when you lift. Inhale down. Feel your six leg abs are working. That's amazing. Try to bring it down a little bit slower. And three, two, and last one. Up and down and slowly bring your head down to the mat. Shake your hips gently again. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, now for the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lift both legs up to 90 degrees again, arms along your body. Now this time, I'm going to move both knees further away 
a little bit further away, only to the point you still can keep your hips stabilized and you still can keep your lower back in neutral position. So we don't want to add your back, we just really keep your back down and in neutral, arms along your body. Now, even we don't move here, we already feel your abs, your lower abs are working like crazy. I'm going to inhale, slowly start to make a little running with your legs here without moving your hips, so only your legs are running. Keep breathing, pull the belly button in, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply. Now further, keep your, bring your legs further away if you, even, if you want to make it even more challenging. So keep breathing here with your own breath. Try to run as quick as you can with deep inhalation. And exhale. And three, two, and last one and slowly bring your knees to chest. Bring your legs from left to right, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And slowly bring your feet back to the center. Gently shake your hips. All right, move to the next movement. I wanted to lengthen your legs all the way up again. Extend the ankle. Keep your hips at 90 degrees, arms along your body. Inhale and bring both legs further away as far as you feel good with the lower back. Open your legs to the side, bring your legs back and lift all the way up again. This is going to really challenging your lower abs. So do it slowly and only to the part you feel good. Open, exhale halfway, come back. Inhale down and open again. Exhale, come back and lift eight more times to the sides. Come back and up, seven. Make sure you keep your shoulder blades down. Don't bring it up. Awesome. Kind of feel like your legs are shaking because you have to use that muscles in your abs to keep your whole legs move with control and with this pace. It's pretty challenging. Awesome. And four more times with your own breath. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep inhalation. That's amazing. Exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, I wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side to sit up. Hug your knees to your chest, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, now for the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to come to for on four position. Open your arms, shoulders apart, and your legs sit with apart. Tuck your feet. Lift your knees up and bring your knees down. You can put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. So I'm going to try to lift up and down 10 times. Do it slowly, as slow as you can. And last one, and slowly bring your knees down. Come to a tripod, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, come to on for position. Cat and cow. And round your spine. Upper spine. And then arch your back again. Pull the belly button gently in to support your lower back. Try to reach your upper spine higher when you round your spine. And when you arch your back, Shoulders far away from your ears. And a couple more times with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Good. Knees to the center. Tuck your feet. Lengthen one leg. Move your heel backward. Hold it here for three, two, one. Come back to the other side. Move your heel backward. You feel the back of your lower leg is stretching. And slowly 
bend your knee, gently shake your hips again. Tuck your feet, lift your hips as high as you can. Start to walk and make a little step here. And slowly bend your knees. Come to sit on your heels, gently shake your hips again, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And feel free to sit down on your sitting bones if it's more comfortable for you. So knees bend, lengthen the spine. Hands behind your head. Rotate your torso to one side. And to the opposite side. Shoulders down. Come back. And a couple more times each side with your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly back to the center, hands down. Gently shake your hips, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now round your spine. And inhale, lengthen. And round. And lengthen. And one more time. And back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Good. Now bring your hands behind your head. Open your elbows wider and lengthen your arm to the side and come back. Feel free to cross your legs. Awesome. And one. And slowly, hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply. Rotate your head around your neck. Reverse. And one more round. And reverse. And slowly bring it back to the center. Take a deep inhalation again. Exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Rotate your shoulders. And reverse. And that's the work after that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.